You are a toy! The job of a, of a story person is you have to be a little bit of an actor, right? So when you're, you're doing something like, you know, you know, you are a toy. You are a toy. Now I finally got a grip, don't want to let me know, never not for a minute. I no longer fear hell because I've been to Camp Krusty. Our nature hikes have become grim death marches. Ugh. We thought the golden scepter was the only ah! We are all very savvy when we see something in a story that doesn't feel real. Thinking about moments in your life that have been important to you and working those into the story, that helps the story to be authentic. So when I'm pitching an idea, I usually start off with, you know, when I was 12 years old, that was the first time I dot, dot, dot. Die, 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 diddly, the forest is our happy home. Ooh, ooh, ha, ha, all together now. I grew up in California near San Francisco, <clears throat> and, and um, during the summer, kids will go to summer camp. I still don't know what was true or what was not true, but they took us on a night hike, and as we were going through, they started sharing, look at, look at the creatures that are looking at us in the dark. Maybe it was raccoons. They were shining their flashlight. Maybe it was the glare on the eyes. Maybe they set up little lights, but, um, but I think that was a little bit also what went into my short of the thinking of little creatures that live in the forest. You picked the wrong camping spot, bitches. <laughs> Spray them! Whenever I see someone throw something on the ground, I'm, I'm kind of like the, uh, the older Sprite who is like, I've had enough. You know, you treat the whole world as your own personal rubbish bin and I'm getting rid of all of you now, right? And you know what a great story does? A great story makes you feel something because we are way beyond marketing to sell people stuff. We are selling a feeling. We're selling a story. We want people to feel something. From the hook to how they're trying to connect to me. So I notice all that stuff. Not all of them are done well, but, but um, a good story can make anything better. And no matter how dull the, uh, the, the product or even the, uh, the, the content of, a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of an idea, a story can always make it better. People manipulate other people all the time with stories. And so I always feel that storytelling is like this superpower that can, people can use for good or for evil. This is a highly choreographed bit of nationalistic fervor. I'm in the US, so we see one thing on the news. And then I'm sure if you leave, live in Russia, you're seeing something else on the news. When we're seeing images on the news, it releases cortisol and gives us anxiety. And when those chemicals are being released, it does make people feel more anxious and they do things that are rash, that are not thought out. They make decisions that are um, based on their worries and fears. Come in, Buzz Lightyear. This is Star Command. Buzz Star Lightyear, Command. do you read me? Buzz Lightyear responding, read you loud and clear. Buzz Lightyear, planet Earth needs your help. On the way. Buzz Lightyear. Why are we all here? How do we get through all this? And stories um, 
give us the ability to be able to find a kind of our purpose. And I, I think that's the deep meaning of why people like a great story.